Well, hello and welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Joy Fuller, the chief crafter for the Joyful Designs brand, here to bring you another DIY. So if DIYs on a budget is what you're looking for, then keep watching. And as always, it's time to craft. Let's go. So here's a list of the things you'll need to recreate this project. Just slow it down so that you can see it. What I have now is the pumpkin wood brown in the natural state that you can pick up from the Dollar Tree. I have the Waverly brand chalk paint in the color Cashew. And I am just applying one coat of this paint on the front side of the pumpkin and just making sure that I cover it any leftover paint I will add to it. I am not trying to make this perfect because I will be adding paper. Now on the back side of the pumpkin, I have this burnt umber paint. It is by Apple Barrel that you can pick up from Walmart. And I'm just applying a coat of it to make it act as a stain with a baby wipe. And I'm not trying to go for perfection. I am trying to go for more of an aged or vintage look for this pumpkin. And I have my heating tool here and I am just drying the paint as much as possible. Um, most of it will dry on its own. So make sure that you just cover the paint and if you don't want to have an aged look you don't by all means make this your own I do have my spray bottle water spray bottle and I have some vintage paper that I purchased from Timu and I am just applying it on the top of the pumpkin you spraying a little water mixing it with the Mod Podge and just applying different strips to it as you can see here and I'm just doing a Mod Podge dash of water apply the paper secure the paper to the wood piece and this is keeping the paper from wrinkling which I would have preferred that it wrinkled a little more, but hey, that's okay. This is still giving me the look that I am going for, which is a little vintagey look. But this is a good technique if you want your paper when you are decoupaging to be a little straighter without the wrinkles. You can try it this way, just as I've done here. I had almost no wrinkles in the paper by doing it this way. And as you can see, I'm just fitting this paper on top of the round. making sure that I cover the edges. And now I'm just cutting this paper in half. This is like a four by six paper that I actually purchased from Timu. It was relatively inexpensive. As most things you purchase from Timu, very good quality, I must add, and actually very pretty. And I was getting a little impatient. I should have applied the Mod Podge all the way to the edge so that it would have dried. And then that way I could have just used the um, Dollar Tree. I'm losing my thoughts here. The Dollar Tree uh, sanding brush. And now I'm just applying one good coat 
And now you see me wrapping this sisal rope around the stem or the peduncle of the pumpkin. I did not paint it. I am just on the front side, just the back side. And I'm having to hold it a lot because the back side wasn't dry. So the uh, glue wanted to lift. And if you have yet to subscribe to my channel, please make sure you click on the subscribe button and don't forget about the notification bell. That way YouTube will notify you each and every time I upload a video. And all you're going to do is just wrap this size of rope or any rope or ribbon around the stem of this pumpkin. And some may be wondering why I wrapped the paintbrush inside of a baby wipe. That's to keep it moist, to keep it from drying out. That way when I'm ready to use it again for another DIY, it'll be there. Ready to paint and will not be hard. Now that's just if you plan on using this within the next 10, 15 minutes, no longer than 30 minutes. You don't want the baby wipe to dry on top of the paint or the paintbrush. And now I am just taking my box cutter with the cutting mat that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. Both of these items were from the Dollar Tree. And because I did not let the Mod Podge dry completely, it is coming a little unraveled and torn. But actually, when I looked at the front of it, it actually looked very aged and vintagey, and I actually liked it. And I am going to add a little heavy distressing around the edges using that burnt umber paint and now you see i have the yellow round dabber that you can purchase from the dollar tree and i am just going around the edges of this pumpkin to give it an aged appearance And as you can see, there was still some paper hanging and I just was cutting it. You all know how I do. Something come in my head, I just have to go with it. This was one of those things that came in my head. And today, as a matter of fact, and I said, let me, let me put this together. And now you see I have that pleather, or faux leather thankful cutout that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. And I used the, the dabber, sponge dabber, to dab the burnt umber paint on it. And now I am getting ready to apply the word thankful to my pumpkin. This is a very neutral or warm color DIY. And now I am applying some of those beautiful burlap flowers stickers on this piece. I wish I would have moved the thankful word up some. It was a little too low. However, it still turned out cute. I just was making my placement as you can see there. And I started out with these greenery picks and was going to add it, but then I decided not to. It was just too much and too busy on the pumpkin. And as you all know that when I create things, it has to be visually a please pleasing to my eyes if not i will remove it however if you like that look please move forward with it add you some flowers or whatever 
again, this is just something that came to my head and that greenery did not, to me, look right because it was just too busy on the page. And as a bonus DIY for you guys, I have these Isles salt and pepper shakers that you can purchase from the Dollar Tree. And I am just taking that burnt, not burnt umber, the Waverly brand cashew paint. And I am just applying a coat over it and will dry these using my heating tool. And I will do both of them like this, paint them both like this. And then you'll see me change it up a little bit. You know how I do. I hope you guys enjoyed your Sunday. It was beautiful here in uh, the Research Triangle area or Raleigh-Durham area of North Carolina. You know, I had a day at the nail spa getting a mani and pedicure and with my girls and decided to come home and get this DIY prepared to upload tonight for you guys thank you to all of my new subscribers I am so thankful I'm almost at 300 subscriber guys all because of you watching and commenting on my channel thank you thank you thank you please continue to watch my videos and leave comments it really helps my channel and it's really helping my channel to grow and reach other people so i really appreciate you guys a whole whole lot And now you see I have this sanding block and I am just rubbing over the raised edges of the owl. To give it a distressed look. If you have yet to subscribe to my channel, please make sure you click on the subscribe button and don't forget about the notification bell so that YouTube will notify you when I upload a new video. I don't want you missing that now. And as you can see, I am just rubbing this sanding block across the owl just to lift the color off the raised um, scales of the owls and look at there guys they're so cute as you can see with one of the owls i decided to add some of that burnt umber to it and then i just styled it using one of the trays from a previous diy if you have not seen this video please make sure you go and Bench watch some of my videos to catch up if you're new. But look at this. And here's the vintage pumpkin, guys. She's cute. I think it turned out really, really well. I think she's a cutie. Make sure you leave me a comment as to whether or not you like these DIYs. Which one of them were your favorite? Do you like how I style these in the video? Just sit and let me know. Are you planning on recreating this with your style? Adding your touch to it? If so leave that in the comments give me a thumbs up and as always guys thank you for watching and until the next video bye guys have a great week